but also to provide a Maria Fudge, the Director of Housing and Urban Development, stated that for many Americans, owning a home is considered the American dream. It is considered the American dream because it allows the accumulation of wealth, increasing people's savings. Many people call home a safe and stable place because it ensures life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. There are many organizations that work with people to help with affordable housing, but there's mainly one organization in Springfield that helps the most. Habitat for Humanity doesn't just build homes or fix homes, it also offers objects like toilets, bathtubs, doors, couches, furniture, at 70% discount of the retail price at its Habitat for Humanity Restore. <laughs> Um, truly bringing together the right partners uh, to to build safe, you know, uh, affordable housing in our community, but also to provide uh, affordable home repairs to existing homeowners in Greene County um, and provide, you know, whatever community supports we need to accomplish those goals. So we truly partner uh, with with people, and and why we use that that terminology a lot is it's not just us building it for them. I mean, yes, that's part of it, um, but there's a lot of work that goes into it also by our partner home buyers. Habitat for Humanity does not just build homes or fix homes for people. They also require people to give and take in this situation. They require their partner home buyers to give their full effort in cooperating with their organization. Partnership is defined as the state of being a partner or partners. It also means an association of two or more people as partners. Some synonyms are cooperation, association, collaboration, alliance, union. Um, at Habitat, we use the phrase a lot, uh, you know, it's a, it's a hand up, not a handout. Um, and, and that's really part of that partnering component with us, folks work very, very hard to get through our program. Um, so we ask people uh, who have been accepted into the program to do either 250 hours of sweat equity for one person on the deed or 350 hours of sweat equity for more than one person on the deed. That can take the form of 14 classes that they have to take with us. So they get credit for that time in the classes. Um, and then we look at uh, in our application uh, need, ability to pay and willingness to partner. And what I mean by those things is um, it is eventually a mortgage application. It turns into a mortgage application. And so Habitat kind of functions like a bank. We're not just a builder but uh, and we're not truly a bank, we kind of function like one in that we hold the mortgages, the notes on the house uh, when we sell it to our partner home buyers. I'm explaining that because that's why we look at something like um, ability to pay. So even if our, uh, our homes are um, you know, low monthly payments to make it affordable, it still is a mortgage that people do have to pay back. And so we, we have to evaluate income just like a bank would with mortgage and, and verify, you know, those types of income and the debts that people might have. Um, so we do have guidelines, you know, per household size or range. We're looking at between 30% and 80% of adjusted median income for this area. In life, nothing is free. It's the same way for Habitat for Humanity's partnership program with people that require their services. They still have their partner home buyers pay monthly payments, but it is reduced to teach about the importance of proper financial planning and the importance of financial literacy. Um, and then uh, uh, need, right? Uh, need is a pretty easy requirement to meet. It can be all sorts of different things. So, um, 
at Habitat, we see everything. And, and what I mean by that is sometimes we have applicants that say things like, um, you know, home ownership is really important to me and my family. It means long-term sustainability uh, uh, and stability for our family. So um, this is the only way I can attain that. I don't qualify for a traditional mortgage loan through lenders. Um, so, uh, you know, they'll apply through us. Maybe they live in a, in a pretty decent situation, a rental situation, and, and don't have many complaints, but, um, but that's the only way that they can attain home ownership. Habitat for Humanity provides many people in need with the opportunity to achieve that long-term sustainability, not just for themselves, but for their family too. If you look at the pyramid presented on the screen, it shows that owning a home isn't just for long-term sustainability. It also provides the safety for people's thoughts, their psychological needs, their love and belonging, esteem and self-actualization. It provides them that protection that they seek after. A lot of people actually believe that it serves minorities or you have to be of a specific denomination of people. So I just, that, that leads on to my next question. What are people most surprised about when they first learn about the services provided by Habitat for Humanity? Good question, I love that. So you already hit on one, that you have to be associated with some sort of religion or church or um, that you have to have children or be a single parent or um, have some sort of disability or, you know, these are a lot of misconceptions I get on daily phone calls. And I, I love that I can say, no, we want everyone. Um, you know, our, our households come in all different sizes and look like everything and different relationships and generations. And, um, and I just, I don't know, I love that. I find that so exciting and, and I won't bore you with the details, but the way that Habitat started its inception, um, you know, that really mirrors that, that mentality. To draw a conclusion on why not many people know of the services offered by Habitat for Humanity is that probably they do not think that they qualify based on background or location or denomination. They believe in misconceptions that cause them not to advance their interest into whether or not this organization can help them. To solve these misconceptions, it is as basic as people looking up on the internet, nonprofit public housing organizations near me. And then you'll click on view all and you'll see that a list of organizations are available. It is safer for people to not assume, but instead to see the facts for themselves. And if people don't have access to internet connection, they can ask their local town hall for information on organizations that help with public housing. The other thing I would say is that we give houses away. Um, I heard something uh, on the media the other day. I can't remember where it was. It happens frequently though, where you know we get phone calls or hear out and about that we give houses away. And, and that's simply not true. I cringe with that because I'm going to go back to saying once again, you know, our, our partner home buyers work so hard um, for the privilege of owning a house and paying back, you know, the mortgage. Uh, they work a lot harder than the people to, who can just walk into a bank and apply, you know, for a traditional mortgage. It's a lot of work. So we don't give it away. Um, they help us do it. <laughs> my research and my service learning were late because both focus on improving people's financial literacy to help them achieve home ownership. Before we pay attention to how Habitat for Humanity educates its partner home buyers, we need to ask the question of how do people even find out about its services in the first place? How do people find out specifically about this organization and its impact on people's lives? Word of mouth. Um, that, that's a great question too. So we, um, we have spent money in, in various ways, you know, over time for different marketing. And every time it comes back to, to not have as much effect 
as just purely word of mouth um, from our, uh, you know, existing homeowners, um, from people who have volunteered, people who've just learned about Habitat or heard about it, or maybe even knew someone or, or grew up in a Habitat house. Um, you know, all different ways, but, um, but usually it's just word of mouth. Through word of mouth, people learn about things fast. Rumors, the news, gossip, anything like that comes from the word of mouth, and many people learn about it. So it's important that people spread information to other people through word of mouth to crush these misconceptions and to spread awareness about services like Habitat for Humanities. Right now in the United States, around there is around 43 to 44 million people living in poverty in the United States. 58% of people also are living uh, financially strained or strict uh, stressed lives. And I, I was, I'm working on a research project on where why we should teach young people in high school the importance of financial literacy and how it contributes to home ownership. Because if you start while you're young, you can influence proper and proactive decisions. Right. You, so my first question, I guess it's in two parts is, do you believe that high schoolers should get taught young about these necessary steps? And second, and if you do, why do you believe they should be taught about this while they're young? Yes, that is great. Um, that's a wonderful topic and I'm glad you're pursuing that. Um, Yes, I do think it is extremely important. Um, you know, I, I've had had a passion for for financial literacy for some years now, and um, used to to volunteer even before my current position uh, in financial literacy. Um, you know, people are raised in different ways, um, and you know, you can read all sorts of material about this, but there are some households that that have you know a, a culture of um, you know, it's none of your business. We're very closed, you know, about finances, not sharing information. But when that happens, um, you know, I'm not sure how we expect our kids to have those tools when they need them, you know, if they're not learning it at home. Um, other times, maybe they're just not learning different uh, points of view or theories about money. You know, maybe there's, there's not one uh, particular, you know, right way to do it. But but it is important to implant those tools. You know, earlier I say the better. Um, money, like it or not, is extremely relevant at all points in our life. It just is, fact of life. Um, it, it, it rules and controls so many things that, you know, the more that we can be educated at an earlier, earlier age to respect it and plan and use it to reach our goals, and to be able to break that down and figure out what it takes, you know, how to manage that money rather than the situations managing us, extremely empowering. Many people may not realize that there is a person in their life that struggles with financial literacy and struggles to maintain their home or struggling to own a home. It is important that people spread the word of mouth of the reputation of Habitat for Humanity and what they can offer in service and help. It's important that people understand that there is always help out there for them.